What is the difference between a Crantini and a Cosmopolitan? Today we're going to make two drinks, the Crantini and the Cosmopolitan, and we're going to see how they're different. We're going to learn a little bit about the history of the two and a little bit about pop culture. When I think of cranberry juice, I think about that scene from The Departed. Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio's character is in a bar, he orders a cranberry juice. The guy beside him says, My girlfriend drinks it when she's got a period. What do you get, your period? And then Leo beats the shit out of him. The Departed is my favorite movie, by the way. Nevertheless, with um, the popularity of Sex and the City and the frequency of them drinking a Cosmopolitan and that scene from The Departed, I start to think that cranberry juice or cocktails with cranberry juice in it are feminine, which is wrong. You shouldn't be embarrassed to drink any drink. But sometimes when you're at a bar, it's kind of tricky because you order a drink and it comes in like this cute little coupe glass and you gotta drink it like that. You, you see this drink on the menu with this really cool name and then you order it and it comes in this little dinky, dinky thing. Let's talk about the Crantini for a second. Um, the Crantini is a portmanteau word and that means two words combined together. It's cranberry and martini. It's somewhat like a martini, but not really. I don't con really consider a crantini a martini because a martini usually consists of vodka or gin and dry vermouth. Uh, olive juice, if you want to make it dirty. Um, crantini is nothing like that, at least in my opinion. If anything, a crantini is just a simplified version of a cosmopolitan, and that is what makes this um, experimentation kind of interesting today. Is a simplified drink that worse or better than a more complex drink? Uh, let's find out, shall we? Let's build these two drinks. I got two coupe gases here. Let's start off with the Crantini, shall we? Since it's the simplified version of a Cosmo, it's only fair if we start with the simplest first. I don't need to explain myself, but I am. I, I did, and that happened. So, let's do it. We need an ounce and a half of vodka. And then we need a quarter ounce of lime juice. Then we need um, a quarter ounce of triple sec. And then a quarter ounce of cranberry juice. I love cranberry juice, actually. It's very good. It, the first drink I ever ordered in a bar uh, without an ID, I might have been not of age, who knows, um, was a gin and juice. It was the happiest moment of my life. It's not like any other juice because um, it's got this dryness to it and it, 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 it feels a little bit more sophisticated to drink. Shake it up. I think I just made the Cosmo, actually. <laughs> well, I guess we're doing the Cosmo first. This is the Cosmo. Ah, it's a very, very pink drink. All right. Back to square one. Let's do the Crantini. It's a simplified drink, so therefore we'll do it first. JK, I already messed up. Crantini. Let's do this. Uh, same amount of vodka, ironically. Well, not ironically, just coincidentally. What Crantini doesn't have is the lime juice, the triple sack. Yeah. But same proportion of vodka. and a half ounce of cranberry juice. Blah, 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 I love cranberry juice. I actually don't love it that much. There 
you go. And this is the Crantini. Cosmopolitan, Crantini. The two very similar looking drink. It's almost hard to say that just by looking at it, you almost can't tell which is simplified. Yeah, this one's a little darker because it's got a little more cranberry juice in it. And this one has a bigger mixture of stuff. All right, let's taste it, shall we? Let's go with the uh, Crantini first this time. Hmm. Hmm. All right, all right. It's actually, the cranberry does something really interesting to the vodka. It sort of dampens it a little, so it's not as aggressive. It's only half an ounce, too. It's actually quite nice. It's actually quite nice. All right, this is a, uh, ba ba ba. <laughs> These drinks have way too similar names. This is the Cosmopolitan. Mmm. <laughs> I, I'm so insecure with myself. I shouldn't have mm, like that when drinking a Cosmo, should I? Either way, it, that was that was quite nice. It's it, the um, it's a little more balanced actually. It's a little fuller. There's a lot of stuff going on with the Cosmo. There's the triple sec and the lime juice adds another element completely to the drink. Let me try the Crantini again. Second evaluation. Definitely very boozy, very boozy, very sophisticated kind of drink. It does, I know at the beginning I said I don't consider a Crantini a martini, but it really has that martini feel to it. Uh, you could totally replicate it with gin. Final taste of the Cosmo. Cosmo is definitely more of a party drink. I would like to have the confidence one day to go to a bar and order it uh, from someone who like really knows what to do with the Cosmo. But just by following these recipes, these are two very solid drinks, to be honest. If I was to pick one that I could drink more frequently, I, I would think I would pick the Cosmo. Uh, it fills Everything is filled out a bit more, but if you only had vodka and cranberry juice, the Crantini is a solid choice as well. That's not so helpful, but try it. Lastly, if you want to see more of these videos, uh, I'm going to do them regardless, but if you want to see more, please subscribe. It will make me very happy. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed looking at these flowers and me watching me make these drinks. Um, I'll talk to you later. Enjoy the rest of your day, morning, evening, summer vacation, whatever it is that you're doing. Peace.